Hello everyone, Fanta here, you're watching Fantavision, and today we're talking about price manipulation, specifically Xbox Live Gold doubling in price. That's right, Xbox Live Gold has gone from $60 a year to $120, and of course Microsoft is really trying to soften the blow by saying, oh, it's only going up a dollar per month. It's not a big deal. That's a dollar per month if you're stupid and you are paying Xbox Live per month for some reason. What is wrong with you? First of all, you're just throwing money away. I don't get it. Don't do that. Second of all, it's not just a dollar because they got rid of the year-long gold subscription that you could buy directly through Microsoft. Yes, you can buy Xbox Live Gold off of eBay. I don't know what the price is going to do today after this was announced, but before, you could buy a year of Xbox Live Gold for about 40 to 50 bucks on eBay pretty consistently, as well as other websites that are pretty reputable, actually. So, now that Microsoft has officially stopped selling Xbox Live Gold year-long cards, I remember back when that happened, everybody thought, hey, maybe Xbox Live Gold will be free. They'll specifically focus on Game Pass. That'll be the thing they want to sell to people. And instead of screwing people over by raising the price, they would instead just keep making Game Pass a great value and incentivize people to join it because it's just a great value, which it is, but this price increase and the fact that they have doubled the price because now the only thing, the highest amount of months that you can buy from Microsoft is six months and they charge you $60. They charge you $60 for the thing they used to, it was $60 for a year. Now it's $60 for six months. So it's $120 just to play online. That's absurd. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. If I didn't have an Xbox already, I would get rid of it because that is just a scam. I don't know what else to call it because they are pressuring people into buying Game Pass instead of just making Game Pass an even better value proposition. They are also, fun fact, before all the Xbots and fanboys come to defend their oh-so-precious Microsoft, they are the only company, okay, that charges online to play free-to-play games like Fortnite, Apex Legends, and all that. Even Sony, who has done so many anti-customer things, let you play those games for free. You don't have to have PlayStation Plus to play those games online. Same with Nintendo. Scumbag move to start pay, you know, charging people to play online on your Nintendo console, but at least you can play free-to-play games for actually free. I mean, it begs the question why you have to pay to play any game online when it's the game developers and publishers that are hosting these servers and not Microsoft, Sony, or Nintendo, unless they specifically have games that they're putting out, but I mean, those other developers don't have to charge you, the customer, for servers, so why do they get to? I don't know, you kind of, I, that's why I'm always really against consoles, is because they're holding you hostage, and that's essentially what they're doing here, and they're raising the ransom of your hostage situation. You are held hostage on that platform. You have to buy everything from the Microsoft Store. If you want to buy a digital game, you have to pay to play online, you have no other option, you're just screwed. And now, this predatory raising of the prices by 200%, and they're, they're trying to justify it with inflation? No. It should be free to play online in the first place. It should be free. It, there's no reason. It's like we're paying the servers of the store to stay up. We are paying... To be able to pay is what it feels like. Oh yeah, they've got the Xbox Live party system and all that other stuff you could argue, but if you don't want to pay for the servers, Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, well, Nintendo doesn't even have that. They have their stupid app that nobody uses. Have somebody else do it. On my PC, it's not like Microsoft is my voice thing. I use Discord. You can use 
so many other different platforms. If you don't want to do it, offload it to somebody else and allow it to be a more open platform. Basically, make your console a PC and stop being so much like a Mac because that's what they're doing. They're making this closed ecosystem where you have to pay more money because you are trapped in there because you decided to purchase their product. It is absurd to me that anybody would think that this is okay, but I guarantee there will be idiots out there that are for some reason not paid by Microsoft, but will happily pay that anyway, or just go, well, I'll just, I'll just buy Game Pass. Why don't you just buy Game Pass? Stop complaining. Because this is anti-customer. This is horrible. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. It's This is absolutely horrible. This is one of the worst moves that Microsoft has done in a long time. And the thing is, is they were the most pro-customer focused console in my opinion, because they were backwards compatible with both games and controllers, and Game Pass was a phenomenal value. And all those things are still true. I can't say it was. It is still a phenomenal value. But this makes me think that they are just going to double the price of Game Pass at some point. It's true. Why wouldn't they? And it also makes me think that maybe PlayStation will up the price of their online service? Think about it. Xbox Live has always been charging people, but PlayStation didn't start charging people until the PlayStation 4, and Nintendo didn't start charging until the Nintendo Switch. PlayStation 3, completely free online. It wasn't amazing, but it worked just fine for me, and I don't, I didn't see a huge difference when I went from PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4 that justified having to pay for it. It didn't make any sense to me. And then again, with the Wii U to the Nintendo Switch, I didn't see any improvement. I didn't see improvement anywhere. There's still no voice chat. There's still, there's bare bones features to Nintendo's online. And there's zero reason we should be paying them money for it. Ever, even if it was amazing, I don't care. We're still giving enough money to Nintendo. They don't need to charge us. They're charging us for the game. That price of the game is supposed to cover all the servers and everything. And the thing is, I I was saying to myself, and I said it on Twitter actually, that I guess they just don't care about their reputation. I mean, companies really don't care about their reputation anymore, it seems, but Microsoft kind of needs to because they're last place in this whole console battle. And I was seeing them gonna, I thought they were gonna pull ahead. I really did because the Series X was such a powerful, or is such a powerful system and is such a great value proposition to people because it is backwards compatible in so many different ways and Game Pass, but now with this, I don't know. I don't trust them to keep Game Pass at a fair price and a good value for much longer if they're willing to do something like this. If they raise the price of Game Pass as steeply as they've done with Xbox Live Gold, I'm done with Xbox forever. It's that simple. If they double the price of Game Pass, it's no longer a good value. And there's no longer a reason to own an Xbox, which is sad, but that's the truth. I mean, Game Pass is the number one reason to own an Xbox system right now. It really is. It's there's That's the only thing I'm doing with my Xbox, is playing Game Pass games. Because it's a great service for now. But now we're seeing Microsoft's true colors again. We thought they were turning a new leaf, becoming a new company that actually cared about its customers and users, but no, no they don't. They're just another money hungry, greedy corporation that wants all the money instead of just a lot of money. And believe me, they're still making a lot of money. They didn't need to do this. And they're just taking advantage of the people that are playing free to play games. And they're taking advantage of people that we're not interested in Game Pass yet, and they're trying to forcibly shove them into Game Pass Ultimate. It sucks. It really sucks, and I'm incredibly disappointed with Microsoft. And I'd say I hope they reverse this decision, but they're not going to. So there you go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, how this changes, how this console is going to do in the future when it comes to sales and things like that. If you think it will affect it, I think it will because that price increase is incredibly steep and incredibly stupid. And 
I just, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Of course, like the video if you guys liked it, subscribe for more content, and as always, have a fantastic day.